So good morning students. Today we will start with the next chapter. The best Christmas present in the world. So as I gave you that quiz, there were some important events happening in that quiz. And you were asked certain dates. And same in the same way we have a very important event. Okay. In which the chapter is based. So the important event was the war between Britain and Germany in 1914. If you remember which war was fought in 1914 to 1919, that was the World War One. Okay. So a lot of people died in World War One. So that is why it is considered an important event. Okay. It was the first war war the world had ever seen where the whole world was almost participating. So in little, I'll just tell you briefly who all participated. Okay. So this was the the main people were the Triple Entente, it was called the Triple Entente and there was Britain, France and Russia. These three were together, okay. They were fighting against whom? They were fight. these three were together, do you remember? Russia, okay. So they were fighting against Germany, Austro-Hungary and then there was an Ottoman Empire as well. Ottoman empire okay Italy was also with them but later again uh, event with this this these people but these people these people or Germany Austro Hungary Ottoman Empire were fighting against France Britain and Russia so these three were called the triple alliance okay so this was it and these people were fighting so the story is based the story is based between a fight of British soldiers and German soldiers. Okay. So something happened between the fight in the fight between the British and German soldiers. So we're going to read that. Okay. I spotted it in a junk shop in Bridport. So, okay, before we go and read the chapter, I'll just give you a brief summary here, okay? Whatever happened here in the chapter in this comic form, okay? So, there is this person, okay? He wanted uh, a roll-top desk. What is a roll-top desk? What is a roll-top desk? I'll show you. See, a desk like this in which... There are lots of drawers and it opens, it rolls above like that, okay, it rolls like that, if you saw that, like this, okay, you can cover it and then you can open it, there are lots of drawers, you see how many drawers it has, right, this is just the uh, top and there are drawers at the bottom as well, so this person was looking, trying to buy a roll top desk like just like this, but it is a very expensive desk. It is not very easy to make, first of all, because that is why it is very expensive. And th this person also wanted a roll top desk. So he went to a shop uh, and he saw, uh, saw an old roll top desk. Okay. I spotted it in a junk shop and in Bridport, a roll top desk. The man said it was early 19th century and oak. So it was early, what is 19th century? From which year does it start? It starts in the year 1800, okay? Uh, I had wanted one, but they were far too expensive. They were very expensive desks. This was one in bad condition. The roll top in several pieces. So the top which rolled down was in several pieces. Now it, it was not together. It had broken down. One leg clumsily mended. So the leg was also broken and it had been mended. Mended meaning it had been put back together uh, clumsily. It was not very well done. Scots marks meaning there were burn marks on that desk. All down one side. I was going for very, it was going for very little money. That means it was going for very cheap. I thought I could restore it. What is restore? Restore meaning he would you know, mend it properly, you know, he would close all the gaps, he would try to make everything function, he would paint it, and you know, he would polish it, things like that, that would make the desk look new again. It would be a risk, a challenge, but I had to have it. I paid the man and brought it back to my workroom at the back of the garage. I began 
work on it on Christmas Eve. He started the working on it on Christmas Eve. What is Christmas Eve? 25th of December. I removed the roll top completely and pulled out the drawers. So he was starting to pull out the drawers. So the, these are the drawers, right? Why, why you. So these, these, these things are called drawers, if you see. Right? Mm. So these things, these things are called drawers. You pull them out and you can keep them, keep stuff in and you can then roll them back in. These things are called drawers. The veneer had lifted almost everywhere. So there was no sign anywhere on the plastic, uh, on the wood. And it looked like water damage to me because the there was water. It was not kept in a very well, uh, <coughs> it was not kept in a safe place. That is why water had damaged that table a lot. And there was no uh, shine, no, no plastic paint on that anymore. But both fire and water had clearly taken their toll on this desk. The last drawer was stuck fast. Stuck fast meaning it was not coming out. He was trying to pull it, but it was not coming out. It was not drawing. I tried all I could to ease it out gently. He tried to, you know, slowly try to ease it out gently. He tried to jiggle it and, you know, try to get it out, but it did not come out. In the end, I used brute force. What is brute force? Just pure power. He did not use any mind. So if, if something is stuck, First, we try to use our brain and we try to maneuver it in such a way that it comes out. So, But eventually, brute I struck it sharply with the edge of the fist and the drawer flew open to reveal a shallow space underneath. ये वाली स्टोरी में भी इस ये भी ड्रेस खरीदने गया और ड्रेस के अंदर क्या निकला उसने फिर देखिए यहां पे पहले इसको देख लो ये है डेस्क की आ, फोटो और उसने इसको ऐसे साइड से मारा डेस्क को यहां पे साइड से मारा और वो डेस्क बाहर निकल आई आई स्टक इट शार्पली इन द ड्रॉर फ्लू ओपन टू रिवील अ शैलो स्पेस अंडरनीथ अ सीक्रेट डोर ड्रॉर एंड देन एज इट केम आउट and underneath was a secret drawer. So if you see, this is the drawer, right? This is the normal drawer. And this is the secret compartment inside the drawer. And it came out. There was something in there. I reached in and took out a small black tin box. So there was a small black tin box inside that secret drawer. Cello tape to the top of it was a piece of lined note paper. So there was a note paper on top of that tin. And written on it in shaky handwriting, Jim's last letter received January 25th, 1915. So there inside the tin box, we had a letter. So if you can see here very clearly, it is showing, right? There is a paper, uh, see it's yellow taped on top of the tin box. And on, on that paper is written, that it is Jim's last letter. It was received on 25th January 1915 after the end of the war. Actually, or the starting of the war, just one year. To be buried with me when the time comes. So it was somebody's wish that this letter should be buried with the, some particular person when that person dies. I knew as I did it, that it was wrong of me to open the box, but curiosity got the better of my scruples. It usually does. So obviously, if it is somebody's personal belonging, somebody's personal tin box, right? And it was somebody's last letter who had, you know, so secretly, you know, safely kept that in a tin box and written on top of that, it should be placed with me when I die. So somebody, you should not actually open it because it is somebody's personal belonging. Although it is in a way been now, Although it is, you can throw it also, but it should not be opened. You should not intervene in their life now. But he, so there is a feeling that makes you hesitate. Ki agar kisi ka saman, agar tumko milta hai, like if you find a wallet on the road, okay. And you, you do, the first thing that you want to do is try to look inside the wallet. Ki, what, what is there in the wallet? If you find somebody's car, okay, 
and if you go to somebody else's house and you are all alone the the owner of the house has left the first thing that you want to do is you want to get inside and look inside the house as to how the house is okay what things are kept inside so that feeling but you get when you get a little hesitation that you should not do it so that is that feeling is called scruples okay and this person also got that feeling that he should not open that box but curiosity because he was curious that i want to know what is inside what is written inside that is why he opened it inside the box there was an envelope the address read mrs mcpherson 12 copper beaches bridport dorset i took out the letter and unfolded it it was written in pencil and dated at top december 26 19 14 so this is what happened this was the as you read as he opened the tin box he found a found an envelope on which was written this address and then inside that envelope was a letter which was dated december december 26 1914 and this letter was written in pencil okay so this was the letter So this is the first part of the story where he found the letter now we read the second part in the second part we read the letter 